toxic friends don't help you take your life to the next level. They leave you where you are because misery loves company. Happy New Year! Well, we got about three days before New Year's, but Happy New Year anyway. Welcome to another episode of Becoming with Angelina Watkins, and I'm your host, Angelina, your queen of becoming. And I help sophisticated professionals and first-time entrepreneurs become who they need to be so that they can do what they're purpose to do so they can live the abundant life that they want to live. And I started this podcast to talk about healing to prosperity and everything in between to help you become who you need to be to win at love, life, and money. Now in this episode, to close out the year, of course, I wanna talk about what are we going to do in 2023? You know, this is the time of year that everyone starts um, coming up with their New Year's resolutions that they're not gonna keep. Um, They start creating all these goals that they're gonna achieve in the new year, although I think you should make and create goals all year round and not just at the end of the year. Um, They're starting to do their planning for 2023, their business planning, which should have started months ago probably. But I want to talk about it. Let's talk about what are you taking into 2023 and what are you going to leave behind that you don't need to take with you? Because I don't know about y'all, but 2022 has been a, a battle for me. It has been rough. And I've done a lot of crying in 2022. I'm so tired of crying. I don't wear the eyelashes and the makeup. And I don't even bother because I'm always crying. Every time I went to church and they get to playing that worship music and the praying and all the the speaking and all the things they're doing. And here they, the tears start rolling. As hard as I try to be a thug and not cry, I end up crying. I've just had a rough year, you all. I've been through a lot. And even though they say crying is good for you, you need to release it. Um, That's a lot of releasing. I mean, there was months where I was crying like almost every day or every other day. And so there's some things I just don't want to take into 2023. And maybe there's some things that you don't want to take into 2023. I sure as heck don't want to take in all the troubles that I've had. Even though I've been told this too shall pass. I don't want to take it. Can it pass now? Okay. Anyway, I saw this tweet and it's what, it's what prompted me to talk about what are we going to take into 2023? Cause it was a really good tweet and some really good advice that I want to share because in 2023, this person, um, what's his name? Aaron. I am Aaron Will on Twitter. He writes about the things that you need to replace in 2023. And so let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we need to leave behind and what we need to, what good things we need to replace those things with in 2023 in order to live a more prosperous life, a more abundant life to become who we need to be. Um, and so that we can just have some peace y'all. I just want some peace. Okay. But he says replace alcohol with water. Well, yeah, of course. Alcohol is never good for you, especially when you consume it too much because then it doesn't let you think the way you're supposed to think and we act in ways that we're not supposed to act. Then he says, replace Netflix with podcasts. And I get it. Now, when you replace Netflix with podcasts, it's got to be some positivity in there. And I think that's where he's going here. Get you some positive podcasts that you can listen to. Stop filling your mind with all that junk and hatred and negativity um, and ungratefulness and just everything that just keeps you down, the Debbie Downers and the things that make you so angry and mad. Get some positivity in your life. I I think I'm going to have to start maybe listening to more podcasts. There was a period of time where I listened to a lot of podcasts and I'm going to go back to it because when I was in the place of listening to podcasts, on a regular basis. It really kept me going. It really kept me motivated. So make sure you're picking people who are are inspiring you, motivating you, dropping knowledge so that you can be able to continue to become in your being. Then it says replace overthinking with action. Y'all, we got a lot of overthinkers out there and we're not taking actions because we're overthinking 
the things that we need to do. We're worried about, is it right? We're worried about what somebody's going to say. We're worried about if someone's going to receive it. And we're so consumed about the thoughts of others that we're overthinking this thing and we never launch. We never move. And so you've got to stop that overthinking. Stop doubting yourself, okay? Um, replace influencers with creators, okay? So mm, we have influences, influencers that are creators and creators that are influencers, but it says replace influencers with creators. And I might have to say that with influencers, if I'm thinking about the people who are out there with the flashy clothes and the lavish lifestyle that they probably really can't afford or that they're getting or doing promos for people and they just want to show off the clothes and the purses and the shoes and the hats and the dinners and the trips. Um, get with some creators. Everybody's a content creator, but get with some creators, some people who are really teaching you something and showing you something. Replace toxic friends with mentors. OMG. We got to get rid of them toxic friends, Paul. Get some positive people in your life that's going to give you good advice and send you in a good direction and keep you focused help keep you focused on where you're supposed to go someone who's going to help you take your life to the next level toxic friends don't help you take your life to the next level they leave you where you are because misery loves company all right he says replace complaining with gratitude y'all i have to say that's going to be me in 2023 i've done a lot of complaining a lot of crying and a lot of complaining. And with the crying came complaining. And I have to learn to stop complaining so much. Start finding the silver lining. Start finding the victory. Start finding the, 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 the what did they call it? The, um, the well, whatever. Stop, start finding the silver lining in things. I need to change my perspective. Everything can't be doom and gloom, okay? I know I've been crying a lot, but everything can't be doom and gloom. And I think when you start to focus on the good things and you start to be grateful for what you do have and where how far you have come, then you the complaining will stop and maybe the tears will stop too. Um, replace wasting money with investing. Y'all know, y'all know me. I don't believe in wasting money, although sometimes I do. Uh, we all have our moments, but for those who are money wasters, we're constantly buying things of no value, spending money just to spend money, buying things just to have things, and using your social status to make you feel good or make you fit in, start taking that money and invest it in your future and building wealth, okay? That's what it's all about in 2023. And so I'm launching my book. Y'all, I finished my book. Yay! And it's called Path to Prosperity, the 17 Secrets to Building Wealth that you can start today. So I'm launching my book next month, okay? And so instead of wasting that money, buy the book and learn how to build that wealth. All right, so keep staying tuned because I'm going to be releasing it very, very soon. The last thing he has on there is a replace sleeping in with early mornings. Now, I get up early anyway, so... I don't have to replace that, but it's just good advice because it, unless you're morning, unless you're not a morning person, if you're a morning person, then that's great. Get up early. I get so much done when I get up in the morning before the day starts, before the hustle and bustle, before the pillow talk, before the conversations, before the kids are worn. Everything is just peace and quiet and it allows me to think, it allows me to be at one with myself, be at one with God, have that peace get my thoughts together, get and, and decide how I'm going to go about tackling the things that I need to tackle for the day. Now, those were good things that Will had to say about replacing in 2023, but I have a few of my own that I want to add. Uh, some things, me personally, that I have been working on and I'm going to continue to work on and I'm taking into 2023. And my first one is boundaries setting boundaries. I'm taking setting boundaries as a habit into 2023. I'm not, I'm no longer going to continue to allow people to mistreat me, disrespect me, talk to me any old kind of way. You know, if we can't have an amicable conversation and then I'm walking away, you get one warning and one warning only. And if the conversation is not to where it is 
um, positive, that we are friendly, amicable, that we are resolving the conflict. If we got to be doing a whole bunch of yelling and stuff, then I'm just going to have to walk away. I'm going to have to walk away. And so that brings me to number two, which is don't take the bait. That's going to be my second habit that I'm taking into 2023 is to not take the bait from those toxic people in your life that want to continue to bait you into arguments, bait you into yelling, bait you into behaving in a way that's not really you, taking you out of character just to see how you're going to react, just to um, mess up your day. And, and it, it does. It, it's a distractor. And now you're so upset that you can't even get done the things that you need to get done. And so we've got to learn to mark those people who are troublemakers, mark those people who are testers, mark those people who like to push your buttons and stop taking the bait. Y'all, I'm going to continue to work on not taking the bait. The third thing I'm going to work on in 2023 is helping people who really want to be helped. Because I've spent so much time helping people who really don't want to be helped. They don't want to change. They don't want to make their life better. They like where they are. They like the drama. They like the misery. They like being Debbie Downer because they don't know who they are outside of the drama. And I really can't continue to spend my time working with people who don't want to change their lives. You don't want to become a better you. You don't want to evolve in who you are and walk in your purpose and live an abundant life. I am here to help people who really want to be helped because the energy I spend helping people who don't want to be helped could be spent helping people who really want the help. Okay. So that's one of the things I'm going to do in 2023. Also use my voice. 2022, I felt like I was being silenced. I feel like um, I was being controlled of what to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do. You know, just being walked all over. And, I'm, and I don't want to be walked all over. I teach people not to let people walk all over you. And so I'm not going to let people walk all over me. And so I've been using my voice. Now, it hasn't always been constructive. That's one of those things that I got to work on, but I'm going to continue to use my voice. I'm going to continue to speak up for myself. I'm going to continue to you to express myself and express my feelings, but in a tactful, respectful way, because you get what you get. You, you get what you give. Okay. So if you can dish it out, you got to be able to take it and you reap what you sow. So in everything in using my voice, I still have to make sure that when I use my voice, that I'm using it for good. And then I'm sowing good seeds when I use my voice so that I can receive the goodness in the harvest back that I am trying to get when I sow that seed. But you got to use your voice. Don't be silenced. Don't let people run over you. You cannot be a doormat. Take up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. Express your feelings. Let people know when they hurt your feelings. It's okay to let people know they hurt your feelings and you can work through it unless they're toxic. Then they don't want to let you work through it. Then they want to turn it around and flip it on you. And that's when you don't take the bait. You set the boundary and you walk away. Okay. Now, I hope you got something out of this and I'd like to know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what are you not taking into 2023, 2023. What are you going to leave in 2022? Because I know I'm not the only one who had a rough year. And I know there's some things that you say, you know what? I'm forging ahead. I'm moving ahead and I'm not going to stay where I am. I'm going to do something better to improve my life. Okay. So let me know down in the comments, what are you going to leave behind in 2022? And what are you looking forward to? in 2023. All right. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss no more episodes because I'll still be here in 2023. All right. That's another habit. I'll just add that to the list. This podcast ain't going nowhere. I'm going to continue to keep dropping some episodes and talking to you. All right. Now where you are is not where you have to be. Your past does not define you. You define you. So heal, transform, and pursue.